So what is good YouTube? We are back here for another video and you guys wanted to see this. We're going to be doing a Jalen Suggs full on career sim. Obviously guys, later on tonight, we got the national championship Gonzaga versus Baylor. And obviously we all saw Jalen Suggs hit the best shot in Gonzaga history. I really want to see how good Jalen Suggs can actually be whenever he gets to the nba so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to go ahead and smash that like button let's aim for 120 likes and other than that let's get straight into this video So to start off this career sim, we got to head into the draft first. We see the Houston Rockets pick up Cade Cunningham with the number one overall pick. That's actually a really, really good pick. Probably going to happen in real life. And heading on a pick number two. Let's see who Detroit actually picks up because, you know, Jalen Suggs has been mocked there a lot. And yeah, uh, we end up in Detroit don't really know how to feel about that however guys this is a pretty good landing spot i mean the only competition is really just killing hayes which let's be honest he's not really that good we are here in detroit rocking number 12 this is actually not that bad there's so many young guys on this team we're now Suggs, hayes bay stewart there's some guys here and there's jeremy grant here as well this team is definitely going to be terrible and i kind of want to be the rookie of the year and at the end of the season kate actually wins rookie of the year but look at our boy jalen Suggs. He makes all rookie first and putting up insane numbers 23 points 80 overall he was really in his bag unfortunately the pistons were actually terrible behind him killian hayes stewart this team has so much stuff to actually work on and heading into the playoffs the brooklyn nets yeah uh they win the 2022 nba championship because they have a freaking super team but let's get straight into this year's draft they pick up Jaden hardy with the fifth overall pick kind of crazy because you guys already have Suggs, already got killian hayes and they added another six 6'4 guard with so much upside. Year two with Suggs, it's Hardy, it's Bay, it's Sekou Dumboya, it's Stewart. Jalen Suggs, the beginning of his career was really, really tough. I mean, the stats are decent. Him, Hardy, Hayes, they're doing pretty good, but let's be honest, guys. This team was definitely not competitive at all. And Brooklyn goes back to back to win championships, and the same thing happens in year three and year four every single season Suggs gets better and better i mean guys year three 87 overall putting up 21 points eight assists on really decent efficiency as well and this team is still the worst team in the entire conference we really did struggle a lot but guys overall this team kept on improving year number four luka Doncic wins the mvp and look at this man the fifth seed and jalen Suggs, his numbers definitely went down but this is the first time this team is actually good <laughs> this team is actually a decent team we also finally make the playoffs and we actually beat boston in game number one and we actually beat them by three points we go ahead and we lose game two tied up series we go up 2-1 they go up 3-2 and we gotta hop straight into simcast i want to see if we can get the upset man this is an upset and let's keep it going 137 to 94 jalen suggs was on fire 50 our boy dropped 50 on their heads we saw it in real life he's so so clutch and he's already showing it in the game as well and we gotta win one more game y'all one more game on the road can we do it yeah we definitely might have to jump in because suggs has a double double here's jalen hardy on the midi and it's cash let's keep this thing going y'all very close game lock it up lock it up jalen brunson how is he in boston Clamp this up. He ain't going nowhere. Heck, y'all are kidding me. We just let Jalen Brunson potentially hit the dagger on us. Jalen Brunson, out of all the people on this team. And yeah, uh, we walk out of here with an L. We, we were so close. But hey, improvement. This team actually made the playoffs. Heading into year number five, our boy Jalen is now at 90 overall at 23 years old. And he also got that bag five years 161 million dollars yes sir this team is actually starting to look a whole lot better i mean it's him it's hardy they signed brandon clark and we still got killian hayes coming off the bench now center is probably gonna be a problem but i'm pretty happy about it hey cunningham he wins the mvp which is actually incredible and jalen suggs he actually makes his first all nba team averaging 21 points nine assists all nba third team he's definitely getting better and better every single season and this time we actually made the playoffs 
playoffs. So this team looks like it might be able to get on a run. They picked up Brandon Clark, Pokyshevsky. In round one, we are down 3-1 to the Pacers, and we get dropped off. But it's all good, guys. And we see Memphis go ahead and take the championship this season. The legend himself, Alec Burks, goes ahead and he retires. And we also have a massive problem because Luka Doncic and Zion Williamson have teamed up in Milwaukee of all places. I can't believe this, guys, but heading into year number six, this team still looks pretty decent. This year, of course, Luka wins the MVP with Zion on his team. This team actually scares me, and we are currently the A team. But look at our boy Killian Hayes, six man of the year, putting up 20 off of the bench. And Jalen Suggs, 21 points per game. He's the second leading scorer on this team. And yeah, uh, it does not go well for us. We actually lose in round one. But hey, this team is getting better and better every single season. Part of me wishes we went to a better franchise. But hey, Detroit, this is where we're at right now. And heading into year seven, this team looks so much better. They picked up Jackson Hayes. We're currently the third seed. Unfortunately, we actually go down two games to the freaking six seed Sixers. We take the third game. The fourth game, we tied up this series. We are right back into this thing. They go up three two, which you guys are not advised, man. Simcast time. It's Simcast time, and I'm going to need Suggs to be big in this game. And we're actually going to be able to walk out of here with a double 115-96. And Jalen Suggs, man, this man performs really, really well in big games. If we can just end it right, right now, right now, right now. And guys, we are actually advancing for literally the first time as this man drops 42 points. The first time Pistons have made it past the first round. Let's get straight into it, man. Round two, we got Cleveland. I don't know who's on this Cleveland team, and I honestly do not care as they take those first two games. We tie it back up. Why do we go down 0-2 every single time, but we advance to the conference finals, and now we are threat. Suggs is averaging the second most points in general in the playoffs, and look at these splits. Look at these. And dude, this is 54, like 45, 90. Like, this man is going insane. And we got Miami. They got, yeah, they got Jaron Jackson and Bam. They got a really nice front court, but we got depth. That's the one thing we actually do got. And we got a tied up series 1-1. One, one. We go up 2-1 on up. Come on, y'all. Do not fold. Tied up series. Do not fold, y'all. We need that Simcast luck right now. We're up by 15. Just Let's run it up, y'all. Do not choke. We are right there. And we actually get the 6-point W. And how did our boy do? 29 points, 12 assists. He's actually showing up. He's doing exactly what we need. And with a great bench and guys like Killian Hayes, this team is really, really good. And that's why we are able to actually advance to the NBA Finals. And I'm telling you, Jalen Hardy is a massive problem. He's the perfect number two for us. And we got San Antonio. Who's even on this team? Are they still? They got Kelly Oubre. This is actually not bad. They got Mobley. They got Victor. This is actually a decent team. I'm not going to hold them, but guys, we take game one. We take game two. We actually got a chance, y'all. Are we, we going to sweep them? Are we actually about to sweep this team? We are right there. We are, guys, we're up by freaking 20 plus points. We're on the cusp of winning an NBA championship. And it took us seven seasons. And Detroit struggled for a really, really long time. This was not easy. But at the end of the day, guys, Jalen Suggs, seven years into this man's career, we got ourselves a NBA championship. But the question is, is he finals MVP? Because don't get me wrong, Suggs has played really, really well. But they got guys like Killian Hayes. They got Jaden Hardy. They got a bunch of bench players as well. And look at our boy, man. Jalen Suggs finals MVP. I ain't gonna lie. This championship feeling, the first one feels amazing. This team honestly beat the odds. I honestly did not think that they were going to win any. Because literally, the Pistons, the Pistons the last like 10 years have not been good. And there's been a lot of questionable draft picks. But look at him in the close of the game. 30 plus points, 11 assists. And he went crazy. Finals MVP. We champions. 13 assists, 50, 40, 90. I mean, look at this guy's stats in general. He led the finals in scoring. His numbers were insane. He went 50, 40, 90. The dude was on a different type of level. And the only good spur was Evan Mobley. I don't even know who that small forward is. And after that championship, this team definitely struggled, guys. It definitely struggled in years 8 and 9. But in year 10, something finally happened. And that's Jalen Suggs as the fifth seed. 
winning the MVP. He's now, look at him, guys, 94 overall, putting up 24 points. He went 50, 40, 90, and this dude was just turning up, guys. Defensive second team. He was just playing both sides very, very, very well. And look at this, guys. New York in the first round. Stats-wise, behind Suggs, we had Caleb Houston, who I did not even know was on this team. But it looks like they got this man for the cheap. He's 85. The MVP, all defensive teams. I'm going to need another championship, y'all. We take the first two games. And the Knicks, okay. All right, let's pack the Knicks up, man. Sweet. Next up, Charlotte. And the thing is, the Hornets are not a bad team. They actually still get swept, but they did have Melo and Booker. And we're back in the conference finals up against the Milwaukee Bucks. So I think at this point, they lost Luka Doncic. But it's still a tied-up series. And we go up 3-2. And we advance back to the NBA Finals. And this time, the Pelicans, they got Miles Turner. They got Brandon Ingram still. They got DJ Wagner. This team is not good. Like, they've already won one before. But I am not afraid of this team at all. And we go up 2-1 on them. We go up 3-1 on them. And are we about to get our second ring? Are we actually about to get two championships on the Detroit Pistons? Because I'm going to be honest, I did not see this happening. We won the first one. We went three years of being horrible of being straight bad i'm talking about the seventh seed the eighth seed not really looking all that good but it's a two-point game a minute 50 left hardy is going off Suggs is playing very very good too let's see what we got here's caleb houston on the drive with the floater he ties up the game yo we actually got ourselves the games now all right caleb caleb on the drive caleb on the drive Yo, Caleb Houston is taking over, but I, I ain't gonna lie. Buddy might need to pass the ball, bro. He might need, need to pass the ball as DJ Wagner knocks down the midi. Let's get it right back, man. Put the ball in Suggs' hands. Houston, I'm gonna need you to pass the ball, bro. He's not passing it, but look at him with the reverse layup. And maybe he don't need to because he's looking really, really clutch right now. And we are down to the wire for the three. And it's off, man. These guys actually end up winning a game. They are trying to make this into a series, and I do not like it at all. As a matter of fact, I hate it. <laughs> Guys, we cannot afford to lose another game. Let's pack them up in game six, and we got it. Of course, guys, me personally, I'm trying to play as well. This is my first time playing. We've already won this game, but look at Jalen Sucks. He's so freaking athletic. He makes every single move super easy to actually do and guys look at his move this man gets to the basket with ease and at the end of the day we win our second championship of this video of Jalen Suggs career two rings a finals MVP a regular season one as well can this man add his second finals MVP I do not know but so far this career sim is going a lot better than I thought the Pistons actually made good draft moves I mean picking up Jaden Hardy was good Signing Houston was good and keeping Killian Hayes to be the sixth man is also a massive W as well. We also got Dario Saric a championship. We are here gifting rings and Jalen Suggs wins his second finals MVP. And things are looking really, really good for us. Yo, B.I. was going off, but he was the only one because Hardy, Hardy went off. But once again, Suggs plays both sides 50, 40, 90 every single time. He was doing his things, but we have four of the top scorers in the top five. That's tough, man. B.I. really had no kind of help at all. And let's fast forward to your number 13, because this is honestly where the regression really starts to hit our boy Jalen Suggs. My boy is still really, 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 really good. I mean, look at him. 91 overall, all NBA third team. He also makes all defensive second team as well. He's still really, really good at 93 overall. He's leading the team in scoring leading the team in assists and how on earth did we get deandre Aiden? i mean i'm glad that like i'm glad because we need a center but how did we get aiden they traded the legend himself killian hayes for aiden i don't think that's a fair trade but i'll take it anyways guys we are back in the conference finals after making that move and we got milwaukee look man killian was awesome but getting a center that's legitimately what we needed and we are back in the nba finals to take on zion they got bam they got bradley they got a nice team in houston and they take game one we do tie up this series we go up to one come on y'all we're up three one y'all we are about to win our third freaking championship which is such a massive 
W if you ask me. The first one, a massive surprise. The second one, a bigger one, but the third? At this point, Jalen Suggs is probably a top five point guard all time. Not many of them have championships, and this man has championships, MVPs. The scoring really is not that crazy. He's really efficient. Defense is just elite. He's leading his team well. And guys, this career team is going amazing. If you guys enjoy it, like it up because our boy is starting to hit a wall a little bit. And 89 overall, he's going down by two every single season. And so is DeAndre. I mean, DeAndre, he wasn't really crazy. But look, we still got depth. He makes all NBA first team. And he's 33. Jaden Hardy makes the third team. I'm telling you, Jaden Hardy. I am so happy we drafted him and we are back in the conference finals this time as the seventh seed we are upsetting everybody because that regular season don't mean nothing man we got the experience and we are back in the finals up against Phoenix I don't know anybody on this team I'm, I'm just gonna be honest bro I don't know anybody on this Phoenix team but if Zion and Bam couldn't beat us and like Jaden over there I don't know how on earth this team is supposed to really beat us too but the series is tied up they are a whole lot better than that rocket team and heading into game number six let's run it up four time champ but this time Jaden hardy puts up 31 and this time he is the finals mvp and after this guys you guys can clearly see Jaden hardy is now the best player on this team jalen Suggs is no longer that guy and this keeps on going and this keeps on happening the majority of jalen Suggs' career we are back under 20 points a game y'all 15 points a game and yeah things right now are not really looking all that good for us however we made it back to the conference finals but the finals is, is just not happening anymore like it's honestly a wrap now and in year number 17 we are in 81 overall this might just be the end for us Jaden hardy wins an mvp the pistons are the best drafters now they got two mvps we got a six man of the year this team has done really well after drafting Suggs, and yeah we are getting down to just being like extremely down bad like extremely down bad 37 years old i can't lie at this point it might be time to call it but killian hayes does and you know he was loyal the entire time he did his thing six man legend and obviously he makes a hall of fame pretty much coming off the bench he's like the brand new manu also gets his number seven retired and after 21 seasons y'all jalen suggs has finally decided to call it a career to playing 21 years the end of it was bad he was horrible those last few seasons and let's go ahead and let sim because yeah we get dropped off in round one but Jaden hardy and jalen suggs have both decided to call it a career along with Cade cunningham probably the best draft class hall of fame class ever because Jaden bradley was really really good hardy was good Cade was good jalen suggs man this man had a phenomenal career in my opinion let me know what you guys think in the comment section below 19 points eight assists really efficient and overall a really really good and effective leader i mean four championships a four-time champ 11 times in the all-star game he also made a few all nba teams this guy was really good in the postseason the regular season you know the numbers weren't insane but he always played very very well he also finished 25th all time in scoring assist wise he was definitely up there at number five in assists the dude had an insane career and of course he makes the hall of fame along with all of the Jadens. we got k there as well and we see our boy Jalen Suggs and Paolo as well. Both of them get their jersey numbers retired in Detroit. They stayed there their entire career. And that is the end of this video, guys. Yo, Jalen Suggs, good luck tonight. I really want to go ahead and see Gonzaga win the national championship. This dude is a really good talent. He's probably going to be going top, top three in this year's draft. And I honestly cannot wait to like see this career sim was actually incredible. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you go and like it up. Go ahead and sub and check out all the other videos. And other than that, guys, I'm out. Peace, y'all.